cooking up with us and probably got some more heat to talk about. Yes, you know what? I need some of them donuts with my coffee, though. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. We'll get to that in a minute, but yes. Um, I just need more coffee. Facts. <laughs> But Josh, how's it looking outside for people stepping out and getting ready for the weekend, really? Yeah, maybe an iced coffee day. It's already kind of mm. warm out there. You've got temperatures near 70 by afternoon. We're talking about 90s. Oh, boy. It's summertime. Yesterday was the first day of meteorological summer. It was also the first day of hurricane season, and we're already tracking a system there that has developed in the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Depression 2 It is not a tropical storm yet. It still has a small chance of intensifying into one here as we go through the day, but the official forecast taking it south heading towards Cuba shouldn't be a threat to the mainland. Still, it's a reminder that we are in hurricane season and that they can develop this early in the season. And speaking of which, Colorado State, I showed you this yesterday, the hurricane forecast, literally two hours after I showed you that, Colorado State upped their hurricane numbers. They're forecasting now 15 hurricane or 15 named storms, rather, seven of which are hurricanes and three of which could be category three or greater. And that is just a little bit above an average season. So there could be an average to a slightly above average season on the way. That's why we'll be watching it for you again. No tropical storms in the Gulf right now, just a tropical depression. Live radar network quiet other than that. We do have some cloud cover working in. That will be around for the first part of the day and then things should clear out. That will heat us up 90 degrees this afternoon in Waco, 91 in Temple and 89 in Colleen. As we go through the overnight hours, it will turn muggy again. I can't rule out a spot shower over our eastern counties today. The rest of us should remain dry, except if some of this evening activity comes in late in the evening. I think it'll be dying as it does so, but if you live west of 281, you have a chance of that. And then tomorrow, some scattered showers will be possible. Better rain chances setting up for Sunday. In fact, I think we could see some scattered to even widespread showers setting up on Sunday with temperatures staying a little cooler in the mid 80s. After that, we start to dry out and we could be approaching the mid 90s for the week. And beyond that, guys, there could be some higher temperatures next week. All right, once again,